as i told you uh, because in the half adder we can add only two bits uh, and we are not adding the previous carry so that is not possible like because if we are doing some additional or uh, addition operation in that case there is a high chance you will get some carry that is forwarded from the previous previous bit and that have has to be added uh, with the sum okay so we need at least three inputs two is the actual input that i have to add and one is the carry which is coming from the previous one okay so in that case i need the uh, full adder circuit and full adder circuit has x y and the c input which is the carry input from the previous one yeah a very important thing is like if uh, i have a full adder so this full adder can be utilized as a half adder as well because if i put this c in is equal to 0 so if this c in is equal to 0 means what we are simply considering this x and y so the full adder can be converted into the uh, half header as well by putting one of the input to zero. So this is possible. Okay. See, the full header can be utilized, uh, can be used as a uh, half header, but half header cannot be alone used as a full header. I am saying alone. You can combine more number of half header, half header to make the full header. So this is also possible. Okay. So let me repeat it again what I said, just said. Uh, you can make the half adder from the full adder just by keeping one of the input to logic zero but you cannot make the full adder with the help of single half adder okay so if you have to make the uh, full adder with the help of half adder in that case you need to do some exercise what those exercises are let us try to see here so you need to cascade some of the half adders to create or to make the full adder kind of logics okay so suppose here i have on one half header having two inputs x and y and some are s1 and c1 okay so uh, some and carry are the s1 and c1 okay now uh, if we talk about the sum what we generally do whatever the like suppose i have to add three digits okay let's say 0, 0, 0, 0001 and 0, 0, 0010 0 is the number something like that one one so I will get zero and then one will be carry forward then zero, then one will be forwarded then one and zero, something like this. So this is the result. So what we are doing here, we are uh, simply uh, adding three digits, whatever the sum we have that we are doing like that. So let us try to see here, uh, the sum will be given to the one of the input of the half header. And the next input which we are getting from other side or the carry input, yeah, this one that I have to add. And the carry, whatever we are receiving, that you have to R it, and that you will get the uh, the logic structure for uh, uh, the full adder. Okay, so this is the half adder where it is giving sum and carry, and this sum will be again fed to the half adder. And the carry will be taken out and the next input z will be given to the input yeah z is simply here c in okay z is nothing but this is the c input in the block diagram okay so c in will be connected to the one of the half one of the input of the half header and then you will get it like this so this is the simplest structure to make uh, a full header with the help of half header okay so if you try to see uh, the exact detailed diagram will look like this one. So the first block is nothing but this is like half header. This is also like half header and uh, you are getting sum and carry and something like that. But uh, if you see here, uh, we need two XR gate, uh, two N gate and one R gate for this purpose. And if I have to make this circuit, with the help of suppose NAND gate or the NOR gate, uh, sorry, a, a, a NOR gate or the NAND gate. In that case, I have to expand this and this required four number of NAND gate. This also required four number of NAND gate. This required uh, two NAND gates. This required two NAND gates and this required three NAND gates. So the total number of NAND gate requirement will be very high. So uh, instead of just cascading the half header, we can design the full header. How we can design the full adder? Let us try to see it. Okay. So uh, this is not the way, direct way to design the full. Yeah, of course, this can this is doable. This is possible that we can do it. 
but the important thing is uh, okay the last diagram is nothing but this the half adder is that has been replaced with this actual circuit and this if you see in the box this is the diagram of the half adder this is the yeah this is the diagram of the half adder which we have already studied before okay we need one xor gate and one and gate this is the diagram for half adder and if you see the block diagram this half adder has been replaced with the actual circuit okay so this has been replaced with the actual circuit and sum is connected to one of the input and the previous carry or the z is connected to one of the input and the carry is uh, uh, odd with the both the carry so this is how we have done it okay. so this is just nothing but this is the expanded version of the uh, this diagram whatever we have just studied here uh, i just, just told you because because see here we are utilizing the half header okay uh, but without utilizing the half header now let us try to see how many stages are required if you see here in this particular case the uh, i am considering the delay of each uh, gate is td okay so i will get s1 after td time period i will get c1 after td time period because x and y are given at the same time so the s1 and c1 will be uh, we will receive at t1 time at td time period now see here because uh, this s1 is the input for uh, this xor gate and the second input which is the carry forwarded that we have already received it so but this xor will wait up until this uh, i will not get this s1 okay so if the td uh, is the delay for the second xor gate so i will get some after two td time period now let us try to see here what about this carry c2 because this carry c2 also depends on this s1 and this uh, previous carry so this will again like because previous carry was already present but that need to wait for the s1 so again because if td is there so i will get this c2 after two td time period okay now because uh, this uh, r gate uh depends on the c2 and the c1 and we have already received c1 after td time period this was received after td time period but c2 was received after uh, like uh, after two td time period okay so if the delay of this one is td so the total time required to get the carry output or for the full adder that will become 3 td okay so the total time period will be 3 td this is the time required to get some and carry if uh, i am considering the delay of each gate is equal okay so now consider these two things and then we will talk about in the next design and we will see how the next design can help you to minimize these delays okay so here for the sum we are getting 2 td uh, the delay is 2 td and for carry we have the 3 td time to delays okay now let us try to design uh, the full adder from the truth table okay so this is what we have already done uh, in the previous class but i am doing it again uh, suppose if x and y like if we have a three inputs so the total possible here x and y are the numbers which we are adding and z is the carry forwarded which is coming from the previous one okay so the z is the carry input and x and y are the number which we are going to add okay now suppose if i am adding 0 plus 0 plus 0 then i will get sum will become 0 carry will again will become 0 0 plus 0 plus 1 sum will be 1 carry will be 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 sum will be 1 carry will become 0 0 plus 1 plus 1 sum will become 0 and the carry will be generated because 1 plus 1 that will give you 0 and 1 will be carry forwarded okay now if i am considering this 1 plus 0 plus 0 sum will become 1 and the carry will become 0 1 plus 0 plus 1 that will give you the sum 0 and carry 1 this combination will also give the, the same kind of and 1 plus 1 plus 1 that will give you the sum and carry both at logic 1 okay so if this is the case now let us try to write the function for the sum and the carry if i am considering for the sum so the sum is nothing but this is the uh, the min term which are the min term one two four and seven 
वन टू फोर एंड सेवन सिमिलरली इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द कैरी द कैरी विल बी लाइक द मीन टर्म दोज आर थ्री फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन ओके सो थ्री फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन सो दीज आर द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द सम एंड कैरी now let us try to solve the kmf for sum and carry which we have already done in the previous class somehow but yeah i will tell you in a uh, little bit more details how it could be done so if i try to solve the the, the kmf for the sum and carry i will get something like that let us try to see 1 2 4 and 7 so 1 2 4 7 now if so here if we see for the sum we are unable to make the pair with anyone right so we we cannot make the pair okay and i will explain you how we, uh, so how this logic will work and what are the alternative of these things now if we talk about the carry we have 3 5 6 and 7 so 3 will become 1 5 6 and 7 now let us try to make the pairing okay so if we see in the sum kmf pairing is not possible but in the a uh, carry kmf we are able to make the pair the first pair could be like this one second pair could be like this one and the third pair could be like this one so these are the three different pairs which are possible for carry now let us try to write their boolean uh, expression okay so if i am trying to write expression for sum so the sum will be like individual component i have to write so that will become like x bar y bar z bar plus x bar y z bar plus x y bar z bar plus x y and z so this will be the function for this sum okay and if we try to simplify it let us try to see how we can simplify this function so if we take out the x bar from uh, these two so i will get x bar and then uh, yeah i think the first one is like i have missed so zero is not here x bar y bar z is here okay so it's not like zero is not here right so i need to consider for one so it will be like x bar that will become y bar z plus y z bar plus if we take out x from here then that will become y bar z bar plus y z now if we try to closely see these two things uh, this particular thing is nothing but this is the xor function which is which gives y xor z and if we talk about this one this function is nothing but this is the xnor function right so let us try to write that thing so that will become x bar and now y x or z plus if you see here x and this will give you like y x nor z we know that x nor and x x or are the complementary to each other so what we can write here we can write x bar y plus uh, z plus x into y x or z whole complement now if you see this uh, equation closely and consider this y x or z as one of the variable so we can see here first variable's complement second variable normal first variable normal and second variable complement right now we can see here this act as a the xoring of this variable and this variable okay so if we try to simplify this function this looks like x x or y x or z and this is the simplified function for the sum now let us talk about the carry okay so if i talk about the carry how it will look like okay so if you see here the carry is nothing but if we try to simplify all these things i will get the expression something like i am getting x z plus y z plus x y okay so x y y z and z x so these are the functions something like that uh, and this is the simplified function now let us try to uh, implement these two functions like 
uh, some end the carry with the help of logical gate. So they will look like this one. If you see here, uh, what we have done here, X and Y, we are uh, simply XORing so that I will get, let me use the pointer. So this is in the first XOR, what we are doing, X and Y are the input and we are XORing X and Y. And then again, whatever the results we are getting, we can XOR with the Z. Okay, so that what I will get, I will get the sum is nothing but that is equal to X, X or Y, X or Z. So this is the sum. Now, if I have to make this carry, so what I have to do, X, Z plus Y, Z plus X, Y. So simply X, uh, X, Z, then X, Y, then Y, Z, I have to end all those things and then I have to R it. Okay, so then uh, what it means, we will get the carry uh, based on this particular logic. We can all do. Uh, we can also do one more thing. We can utilize like instead of using two input XOR gate for this sum function, we can use three input XOR gate. This is also possible. Okay, so you can use three input XOR gate. Now let us try to consider uh, the delay component. How the delay is working for all these things. Okay, so if I consider the delay of each each gate is TD. Let us consider the delay of each gate is TD. Okay, so let us assume this TD. So this is also TD. This is TD. This is TD and this TD. Okay, ah, sorry. What happened? So this is also TD. Okay. Okay, try to understand. So these all are the TD. Now what we have done, let us consider this is also TD. So the total time delay to get sum is equal to 2 TD. And the total time delay to get the carry is also 2 TD. Okay. So now we can uh, conclude that from the previous circuit, what we did in the previous slide, we did like we require uh, 3TD to generate the carry, but if we are designing our full adder like this, then we can get the faster performance. Okay, so this is the advantage why we, we should not consider the cascading approach uh, to design the full adder. Yes, of course, we can use it whenever, like we have the if we have the uh, library for the half adder, we do not have the library for other things that we can use it, it's not, not a problem. But uh, here we can get the delay like 2TD. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you the giant what uh, question you asked. I, I just want to tell you. See here, now only the problem is here. Uh, for the simplicity, we have considered the delay of all the gates. Either it is of two input or it is of three input. We have considered the 3TD uh, time delay. Okay, but in reality, it is not true. What happens if we are keep on increasing the number of uh, inputs, then delay also increases because uh, I will tell you later on when I will uh, uh, teach you about the CMOS kind of structure uh, and then I will tell you how the stacking works and accordingly the delay increases. Okay, so now let us consider uh, if the TD, like for simplicity, if the TD uh, time delay is required for two input. So for three input, let us assume the time delay is 1.5 TD. This is for simplicity only. I'm not saying this is the actual uh, uh, time delay. Okay, for simplicity, because I'm just considering like for three input, the total time delay is 1.5 TD. Okay, for four input, that will become two TD. This is just for a assumption and to understand the things. So even though if the TD of three input gate is 1.5 TD, I will get the carry after 2.5 TD only, not 3 TD. So even though we are getting less delay over here. Similarly, we can apply instead of two XOR gate of two inputs, we can use three input XOR gate. And if I'm considering the delay of this XOR gate is 1.5 TD, so I will get the sum at 1.5 TD only. Okay, so this is how we can understand the delay component as compared to the other gates. Uh, Jayant, your doubt is clear. Okay. So this is how we, we can do that. Okay. So
so yeah this for assumption i have just considered like td and uh, 1.5 td but yes in reality this is true like if we are keep on increasing the number of inputs definitely the delay is going to increase okay so for simplicity i have considered 1.5 times okay but yeah you can consider anything just to understand the concept okay so if i'm considering td so this is this will be like this one okay so this is how we can design the full adder circuits okay now let us talk about yes uh, in in this particular uh, slide we discussed about if the number of ones are alternative and we are not able to make the pairs okay so if the number of ones are alternative and if we are not able to make the pairs we are getting the xor kind of a structure similarly if you have two inputs okay and the inputs are like alternative something like that if i have two inputs x and y in that case like if you see 0 and 0 1 and x and y okay so what will happen i will get x y bar plus x bar y and this is nothing but this is the x xoring y so the if the inputs like if the um, the variables whatever we have like if the min terms we have decided here are alternative or we are not able to make pair then we can say they are the xor kind of concept but important thing is let us try to discuss more details about the different possibilities for the xor logic okay so suppose i have this two input xor one two input uh, uh, k map two variable k map and ones are something like that so if the uh, ones are in this particular diagonal then we can say that this is nothing but this is the x x or y similarly if we have a three variables and the inputs are like that and the diagonals are in this direction so we can say that this is nothing but this represents yeah let me write it so x x or y this represents x x or y x or z okay third could be like here if the inputs are like this and the diagonals you can see here the diagonals are like this one and we are not able to make pair any of these things so directly we can write this is the w x or y w x y and z all are the x or okay now my another another question is like suppose i have a k map something like this let us try to make some k map okay let us assume i have a k map one 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 and let us assume uh one and one okay now if you see in this particular k map only some of the portions are diagonal and uh, like all the portions are not diagonal if you see here the complete portion was diagonal so we can directly see that the, the total number of variables they were the xor but if you see here only this half portion is diagonal and the half portion is not diagonal there are some other other min terms okay so how we can simplify these kind of equations now what i have to do we need to find what is the portion on which we are getting the diagonal uh, kind of a structure so if you see the upper portion is giving diagonal now uh, this is completely fine there is no change now if you see here what we see we see here like uh, we do not need to consider this one okay because we have considered y is equal to uh, y, this one x x or y x or z yeah so that that will give you the x x or y x or z okay and now this is from like from here i will get x x or y x or z and then if you simplify this one then you will get some pair and that pair will give you some expression something like here uh, plus w x bar and from here i will get z so this will be the final expression for this function so this is how we can simplify it okay so it is not necessary that to find the the xor 
all the ones should like all the uh, ones should be there there should be in the diagonal if half portion or some portion is diagonal directly you can write that function is the xor or x naught okay so this is what i just wanted to tell you so i think the doubts are clear okay now if the complete uh, the k map is in diagonal structure so then we can call it this is nothing but this is the w x or y x x or y x or z so this is all about the this one similarly suppose i have a diagonal in opposite direction okay so let us try to see here if the diagonals are like this okay if the diagonals are in this direction okay so directly we can say these are like yeah see if you see this expression this expression looks like uh this variable will give you x bar y bar and this one will give you x y yeah this is nothing but this is the xr uh, x naught okay so directly if the diagonals are in this direction we can say that this is x x nor y similarly if we have three variable then we can say that this is the x x nor y x nor z similarly if you have a three variables then you can say this is the uh, w x nor y w x y and z so this is the function okay so this is the function for x nor so i hope uh, uh, the points are clear how we can directly interpret whether it is x or or x nor so this is how you can identify the things let us move further if there is no doubt okay yeah so this these are some tutorial questions that you have to solve at your home you can take the screenshot of this one so that uh, you will get yeah otherwise i will upload the lectures so you can check it out but you have to solve all these things so you can design the half header using the nor gate yeah we have already designed the uh, half header with the help of nand gate so the similar kind of approach you can utilize for the nor gate design uh, nor based design similarly you can design the half header with the help of end or inverter only so you have to use only end gate or gate in the inverter gate okay so whatever the logic you are designing you don't need to use xor like see if you have if you talk about a half header half header looks like this one um, so there is one end gate and there is one xor gate okay so and this is the connection what you we used to do okay so this is the simple structure for half header but here if you see we required one xor gate but your requirement is you have to design your circuit uh, with the help of end gate or gate in inverter only okay you don't need to use xor gate so just simplify your function something like that similarly uh, you have to design your uh, full header with the help of nand gate nor gate and the aoi gates okay so this is the tutorial question that you have to solve at home okay